Yep. No clatter, no nothing, no runs, no leaks, no errors. All right, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Garage. And um, we're taking it apart. And I got pretty much all the top end done. I got the fuel pump took off so I could get to the motor mount bolt, but it's bolted from the back side. This one's bolted from the front side. Got the pulleys off. I got the power steering pump off. Carb distributor pulled out. I got the fuel pressure line unhooked. All the vacuums, everything took off. So basically, all I have left is to drop the starter. Since you're here, like, share, and subscribe. Share this around. Tell your friends. Support the channel. And the starter is bad. We're going to be replacing it and doing all the stuff underneath. That means taking the drive shaft out, putting a cover, um, a Ziploc bag with a zip tie around the back end of the transmission, and unbolting, getting the saws all out, cutting some exhaust, and we're going to pull this out all at one piece. Okay, so basically what you have to do underneath is you have to cut the exhaust. You have to unhook... Can see at the transmission with the gear selector take the drive shaft out put a ziplock bag on the back end with a zip tie of the transmission because you know that's going to puke all kinds of stuff everywhere all right and um the motor mounts bolts up in there those you're gonna have to get some tension on the motor with the cherry picker before they'll release I try to get one to move on the other side and it's not moving because it's got all the weight of the motor sitting on top of that bolt. So we'll get that apart, but that's about it. You just need to, oh, and unbolt the training mount bolts and this thing will slide just right out, but that's um, it really. But the drive shaft is a good thing I took it out because it I found it was bent. It took a hit, and I'm sure it was probably shaking this thing to death. Ooh wee it has been a minute since I pulled one myself. All right, she's out. And I did it all in one piece now. It did puke some, like I thought it would, but I wasn't even thinking. The Ziploc bag on the back of the snout worked out, but I wasn't even thinking about the uh, speedometer cable port. Yeah, it puked. 
fluid out of that. But it's nice solid fluid, so that's pretty good. Now, I did end up having to take the manifolds off to get it off. But because it runs so good, I think all we're going to do is make this breathe better and maybe do one power adder, and I'm gonna, we'll talk about that one later. But I need your opinion. What color... Should I paint this block once I get it degreased? Should I go orange? Should I go black? Should I go back to factory blue? You tell me. Bleep bloop it down below. Tell me what color it should be. And that's what I'll paint it. But other than that, we're just going to do this cleanup time. We're going to get an intake. We'll do some trading. Set of headers. And one change to make a little bit more power. Or make, maybe make it just a little bit more fun but it just runs so good i really don't want to mess with a lot of it just to get it in the truck and i might actually just stab it back in the truck all in one piece so if you're still here like share subscribe hit that bell smash that like button bleep bloop down what color should i paint this y'all have a great day because great day today whoo i'm tired been a long time since i've done that by myself to be a pulled motor tomorrow. Y'all be good.